Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Evolve. It is a incremental game about evolving from protoplasm into something. I'm not actually sure. Some uh, emirator from my Discord recommended this, and so I figured I'd uh, take a look at it. I'm a huge sucker for incremental games of all sorts. I'm gonna throw on my auto clicker. Uh, I use OP auto clicker. There's probably others that are better, but I don't know. This one works fine for me. And we're going to be listening to uh, Epidemic, just the suspense, a bunch of random suspense songs that I found. People keep asking me where I get my music from, so I figured I'd just mention it at the beginning of a video if I'm listening to it. So we're just going to start generating a bunch of RNA until we hit our cap and figure it out. So we can form a new strand of DNA. We can also evolve membranes, increases capacity by five. We had a meteor impact to the planet, bring new genetic material with it, gain one RNA. We were protoplasm in the primordial ooze. That sounds fun. Uh, let's get a bunch of DNA first, see if that unlocks anything new. The answer is no. Yes. Actually, we get our organelles. We also have settings. Oh, cool. Pause game, multiplier keys. I don't really see too much. Though I should probably do, like, alt-click to get a bunch. Yep, works. Okay. Uh... Looks like I'm just going to have to alternate between grabbing things. What I could always do is just kind of sweep left and right. Uh, but nah. Let's just get a bunch of organelles. Back to boosting this up. Oh, that requires DNA. I'm just... We're just going to spore creature stage. Oh, hey. Uh, because the ar organelles uh, automatically generates RNA. And automatically consume uh, a couple RNA to make DNA. Increases DNA capacity by X amount. So we can also evolve mitochondria. Increases the effects of membranes in eukaryotic cells. Or we could have sex. Uh, increases RNA generation from organelles. I Sure, why not? This is kind of different. I wonder how much uh, branching variation there is here. Uh, one of the reasons why I like this kind of incremental game, I know a lot of people are just like, oh, it's just text. Um, but the just text ones tend to have some of the more interesting branching paths because they don't have to substantiate it with a bunch of um, visual aesthetic um, well visuals you, there's no art so they can just do whatever they want if I were to ever make a game I'd do a visual novel or like this but I could actually make this it might not even take too much effort maybe that'd be fun I, I'll, I've always wanted to try and get into it but the programming scares me so let's just get a bunch of uh, mitochondria. Probably just fill out both of these. Maybe what I should do is actually focus really hard on just getting my auto income up. The main problem is mostly uh, because I've got an auto clicker, I can just spam everything as much as I want. Because my main question is, do we have a, a means of getting around sex? Can we just be a celibate, uh, celebrate? Uh, wait. Weren't they called the cel celebrates in StarCraft as well? They weren't celibates, they were the celebrates. Can I be a celibate celebrate? Is that a thing? Let's see if I can do it. Out of sheer curiosity. I just want to see if I can endlessly split, or if I have to. If we have to engage in filth and cooties. <laughs> I should probably um, not do a whole lot of nuclei. Otherwise, we're going to lose our passive income on RNA. Not that that's a huge issue. Yeah, let's just fill these out. It looks like sexual reproduction is a required thing, but who knows? Maybe I can get some eukaryotic cells. Maybe. Let's see. Do we want to just gain a bunch of DNA? Yeah. Because, yeah, we could just kind of alternate between getting a lot of organelles and nuclei, at least for now. But, yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to have to wait. Or I, I think we are going to have to. Actually, hold up. There's a wiki. There's like a... Here, I'm just going to put this up on another monitor so you guys don't have to see this. But I'm going to put this up on a second monitor and take a look at the wiki. Because, okay, gameplay prestige species. 
races traits. Oh gosh, there's a lot. Yeah, I just wanted to see if there were upgrades. Uh, here, can I actually just search the dang thing? No. Oh my god, this is massive. Tech, true path tech. What the? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna close this wiki. It's actually spoiling things for me. All right, it's time for um, time to get gross. All right, so now that we've done that, that has massively increased our RNA production. So that's a plus. Actually, can I just alt? No, I cannot. Is it control? I thought it was control and alt would let me do this. It might not work with those. Um, civilization, civics, research, resources, ARPA, stat, what? Okay, we can also queue things? No, it doesn't look like we can do that normally. Okay, what else do we have? So, evolve in the direction of the animal kingdom. Oh, it tells you if it's a major evolutionary fork. Uh, plant kingdom or fungi. Shell, what should I be? Should I have an animal? Uh, should I evolve into an animal, a plant, or a fungus? Shell's saying fungus. I think we're going fungus then. Titan. So we're now evolving. I guess we gotta go multicellular. It's multicellular. Decreases the cost of producing new nuclei. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna need to increase my DNA capacity, even just by a bit. I'm just gonna leave auto clicker on and just go nuts with some of these. Okay, so we've got that. Next up is spores. DNA generation from nucleus. I need a lot of DNA. Yeah, we're just gonna cruise upwards. We've got spores now. And continue evolving towards sentience. Oh, so we are going to be a sentient. Um... Oh, this just increases our, our uh, storage capacity. We we're going to be a sentient fungus. I thought we were just going to be like uber mold, but I guess not. Okay. We just form DNA. Yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, hi. Congratulations, we've evolved into a fungi species of sentient mold called Sporgar. Alright, I guess we've just straight up hit the civilization stage. So we got a camp, uh, outskirts, military complex, and industrial park. What? Wow, we uh, kind of jumped from single cell stage to forming a civilization, but why the heck not? Okay, let's research what we can. Primitive, we can make clubs. We need some bone tools, though. Okay, gather food? It says food. Can apparently have a lot of it. Alright. I was hoping there would be a little bit more of like a, a slow grow, so it would matter what my traits were going into these. But it looks like we've just tossed DNA to in, uh, we've, we've tossed all of the DNA stuff out the window. Kind of a shame. It would be really cool if you could actually have those there's like base traits that you evolved during the uh, single cell stage and maybe a creature stage and take that into your civilization somehow. Oh, it just costs, costs food. Oh, that's easier. Okay, let's just, just cap everything out. I don't have to, but I figure if everything's capped, we can go down the list faster. Okay, so we now are gaining some amount of knowledge. Uh, let's see. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Decaying matter to survive composting heaps will feed your people as long as you can keep them supplied with organic matter. Oh, but we're losing some level of morale. Well, let's go for housing and composting. Let's go back to these. Compost heap. So, extra food per second. It cost me a little bit of lumber. Let's buy a couple of spore nests. Okay, so we are going to burn through an amount of our lumber. But I think once we have enough people, we'll probably be able to get more. And our knowledge is going up pretty quick. No, that's civics. We want to go back to research. So, axes, yeah. Axes and currency. Why do we need currency? Like, I'm actually kind of curious about that, because it feels slightly unhinged here that a... Uh, 
a fungal colony would require uh, funds. I get that it's, you know, it's just kind of baked in, but I'm going to be honest with you. If fungi were to be sentient and form a civilization, you know what they wouldn't care about? Currency. It'd almost assuredly be some kind of hive mind more than anything else. Okay, basic storage, mining, scientific method. <laughs> okay, we might have to we might have to goof with this a little bit. Let's grab mining and basic storage for the time being. Some rock quarries, a couple more lumber yards, and we're gonna need more money. It's fine. So we could be science mushrooms, but we could be capitalist mushrooms, which. I mean, despite my, me talking about mushrooms most likely being a hive mind, like a, a true socialist hive mind, uh, the idea of a bunch of capitalist mushrooms is really funny to me. <laughs> yeah, as Bill's asking if I'm going to draw the evolution of my mushrooms. I could. Maybe. It would be amusing as hell have a bunch of banker mushrooms main problem is time is such a busy week for me uh let's see okay what else can we get banking well we can get hot com composting let's just ignore which direction we go or no we're kind of locked for a hot second we got some people let's get uh four lumberjacks Okay, there. So now we don't have to worry about the train anymore. So now what? Food-wise, we're doing perfectly fine. We could actually get a couple more spore nests if we want to. I'm just going to try and keep all of me my meters very much in the positives. I guess we got to wait until we get more spore gar. I'm not entirely sure how we get more of those. They just kind of show up is the answer. Yeah, we're going to be banking mushrooms. Oh, we can actually get both of them. I think. So it's not actually a fork. We can do both. I should have done scientific method, to be honest, but whatever. Uh, let's see, everything else is expensive. And what do we need for a bank? Oh, just money. I guess that works. Increases our maximum money. Sure. Uh, let's see, everything else is looking fine. Scientific method and garrison, but that's expensive. University costs 400. Oh boy. There was the button that I pressed to get more money faster. Wait, civics? Uh, well, we have more unemployed folks. I see, so we have to employ them to get more money. I picked this music because it would be kind of like dark and broody and, and suspens suspenseful and whatnot. And uh, boy, this is the soundtrack that the banker mushrooms would be jamming out to. But you walk into this town and it's just unsettling. They look at you and they judge you for all your worth. And they find you lacking. And you don't know how to react to it because how are you supposed to react to it? Why did I buy all those sheds? Uh, let's get a couple more of these. The problem is I need oodles of money. I should, yeah, there's so much I should get. I'm going to keep going for the um, civics just because the more of these people I have. Ooh. Okay, so I'm actually going to need more lumber yards. It's not lumber yards, it's it's this. I'm gonna need more compost heaps. Luckily, the more people I have, the more money I have. Okay, we have another guy. Uh yeah, let's just put him there. Hopefully eventually we get some other things we can do. But mostly what we need is Zanger University. I was in Zanger Marsh. Oh, of course, we're the we're the Sporagar. Okay, so we also have the barracks, so we could get extra soldiers if we want to. I mean, 
probably do, but I think first and foremost we need we need Zangaru University, otherwise we're gonna be hard capped on uh, we're gonna be hard capped on knowledge for like far too long, and that'll be a problem. There. We can go back to civics, drop one of these, gain a professor. Professors help educate your citizens, generates more knowledge per second. Yeah, that's pretty good. We might have to end up going science. They do seem kind of useful. Uh, let's increase our maximum amount of citizens. Because again, the more of these people we have, the more money we make. The more money we make, the more I can do. Uh, what do we do? Yeah, I'm just going to work on that. It's going to take a little bit to, for knowledge to get anywhere. So, bolster your population. Cement from stone, bows, metalworking, leather armor, investing. But it's kind of expensive. Yeah, let's go for the lodge. Okay, so what do we need for a lodge? Lumber and stone. Well, it's certainly cheaper than basic housing. Let's just get a couple of those. Cost me an amount, but now we can fit a lot more people. But I think I'll save up for another university. Oh, 850. Oh, that hurts me right in the wallet. And again, we'll get there. It's probably what I, why, well, we'll get another university and then maybe save up for investing. Because that'll get us the banker job and hopefully maybe some more money. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, I could get another one, but that's not going to help me too much. Need another, need another one of these. There's no way to speed this up, is there? No. So you really just have to hang out. How is morale? Job stress? Oh, weather. Makes life easier. So I guess if morale starts to become an issue, we could just make all of our people just chill for a while. Oh, do we want to grab... Let's grab a barracks. That'll get us furs. I'd miss that we had those. It's a military. So we can have up to four. Training compete complete. Wait. Unavailable. Embed more spies. Western Sultanate. Okay. Campaign, ambush, battalion, training. Huh. I guess we could go to war if we want to. Uh, let's see. Do we want another compost to keep? I think we... We don't have to yet. We'll get there. I think I'm going to get the Zanger University first. Now we can go back. Government, unemployed, second professor. That gets us more knowledge per second. Food is now being burnt a little bit faster. So next up is a compost heap. Oh. And we're already there. Alright, knowledge is going up nice and quick. I think next up, banking. Maybe some other stuff. Uh, housing? Yeah. Though we will need more compost heaps. What else can I research? Bows. Dominance over other primitives? Sure. Can I make bows? Here? No. Maybe it's under military? Soldiers. And yeah, we could we could attack somebody else. We can ambush, we can raid, we can pillage. What is the difference? Assault a rival, rival town, siege. Okay, so these are probably just different ones. Caravan, steal their goods, low risk operation, low ro reward. Uh, ah, screw it. Let's go after the United Commonwealth. Oh, we don't have any soldiers. Oh, battalion of four. There we go. Launch a campaign. One enemy soldier was infected during the battle. Wow. Okay, that worked. Uh, let's grab investing. Oh, no, we don't have enough knowledge. But we do have a lot of money, which is kind of big. I don't know. Do we go for another university? Sure. Okay, next order of business. Maybe that. Well, let's go back to civics for a second. Do we have hotkeys for these? Ah! Okay, civilization, civics, research. Perfect. Okay, so we can just raid them for money. This feels like cheating, to be honest. Oh, we lost one. 
two are wounded. So be it. Research. Oh, right. Didn't get investing. I know. Do we want to get a second bank just because? Yeah. Let's grab another compost heap. Two? Two. Just because. A couple of lodges. Okay, back to military. We should probably get some more barracks. Okay, let's uh let's do a raid. Damn. That's yeah, let's just go all in. What are we doing on knowledge? Uh somewhere in there. Let's see. Raid for more. Army was defeated. Ouch. It's fine. I'll just wait. Add some, add some big money. So research, investing. And I, yes. Okay, so we can now do civics, government. And we can get two bankers. Go back to this. Uh, oh yeah, what do, what do bankers do? Increases tax income by 10%. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, let's maybe get some spore nests. And we're mostly just kind of hard locked here because knowledge takes a while. I need a lot of stone. Uh, well, in that case. Yeah, let's just have a bunch of them. I guess we'll need some compost heaps as we go along. But that's fine, because we can go back here, because my military has gotten bigger. We're just going to keep raiding. We lost. Damn. Okay, let's go back to ambushes. If I can just win those. I'm curious about the enemy soldiers were infected thing. That feels like that has some really interesting potential. Okay, up to six. I think we'll just chill, go on raids. We're just going to abuse that one faction. It's probably, it's entirely possible that they'll hate me, but who knows. Okay, research completed. Still working, but we need more. I changed my, oh, you can also increase my battalion size. Oh, that would explain some things. so much money for that. Uh, let's see. Problem is everything is expensive. Do a raid. Ouch. Okay, so raid raids are raids are a no-go. At least for the moment. Uh back to civics. Can I fit more people in? Kind of. Just do 10 and 10 until we can split it up a little bit. I don't know what this, the red corner means. Oh, we can turn them off. I see. It's up and down because of their limitations. That makes, that actually makes sense. Uh, let's just get another Zanger University. Like I said, knowledge is one of my biggest uh, bottlenecks. Metalworking. Refine, mine and refine copper into a pure form. Cool. Uh, let's see. So where is mine? We can actually get a couple miners up in here. Let's get like a shed or two. Civics. Uh, there we go. Is there anything else? I mean, I guess the other thing I can do is actually fill out a couple of these. Seeing as we're low on lumber. And stone, because I'm spending it now. And what I should probably do is actually put some effort into housing as well. We're going to be kind of... Well, I guess we haven't even filled it out yet, so it doesn't matter as much. What about research? Where are we at? Hire mercenaries. Eh. Okay, military. Let's just go back to um, ambushing. As soon as my my guys are done being wounded, then I'll just bring them back. Okay, let's get another compost heap. I don't actually know if we needed that lodge. 
Ooh, that one hurt. And I'll have to look into buffing them out a little bit. It doesn't seem like there's a... Let's see. I suppose I should get more of both of these. Because it increases our efficiency. Uh, let's see. How are we doing on knowledge, by the way? Bronze sledgehammer. Proves rock quarrying. Lumber harvesting. What is our limitation? A bit of both? Well, let's go lumber. And it looks like it's just an overall passive. I don't have to make it. And the other thing is... Yeah, more Zanger universities are going to be expensive. Let's see. Bank? We got a couple of banks. I'm just buying whatever low-hanging fruit we can get. Yeah, we can get some more bankers, though. That gets me some money. That was actually a limitation. Okay, back to ambushing. I think they're getting a little stronger. What about over here? Cement? Sure. Wow, that got us a bunch. Uh, cement plant. Oof. Pricey. Well, I guess I'm just going to focus on military for a while. Oh. Here's the other thing. We can also make my battalion a bit bigger. Okay, just wait until the wounds go away and launch a campaign. Wounded 11. Damn. They really don't like being raided. I almost wonder if they get stronger. We need spies. Okay, what do we what do we have over here? Because we could increase our mining, manufactured materials, improved mining, organizing and storing knowledge in large uh, large storage buildings. So our our knowledge isn't really capping out too hard though. Theater. We also have, like, iron mining. Oh, but I'm not going to be able to get these. Because I don't have enough in... Uh, don't have enough space. But stone. Let's get another university. Actually, let's go back here. Military. Launch a raid. Let's fill these out. Even if I wanted to, yeah, we don't have enough storage for all of that stone. But I suppose that's okay. Uh, get a spore nest? Yeah. And back to lumber. Because I need more people. Our morale's kind of bad. Yeah, unemployed. Oh, you actually lose... Uh, people are unhappy if they're unemployed. Yeah, that's... Not actually, that's... Not, uh, it's not that surprising. Unfortunately, uh, job stress contributes a fair bit. We'll have to look into theater, in fact. Produce manufactured material. Rock quarrying. Problem is, my main limitation isn't that. Uh, let's go for government. Let's see what that gets me. Oh, system of government anarchy. Garrison rating, wounded, ambush. Oh. So these people hate us. Probably my bad. But we do keep uh, getting some good uh, raids. So entertainers are more effective, worker production is slower. Tax revenue is lower, but taxes can be set higher. High tax morale penalty, and people are likely to riot or stress is higher. I mean, I guess let's go democracy. I'm just, where's my hive mind option due to the fact that I'm mushroom people? What do we want to do? Another shed? And sheds are actually pretty cheap, considering everything. So that'll get us another... Uh, let's see. 
Oh, you can trigger a revolution at some point. Huh. Okay, what do we do? We need more lumberjacks. Probably barrackses. Oh, they're expensive, though. And then I guess next up we probably need to get some more compost heaps because... I mean, my food... No, my food's doing okay. Okay, what about research? Foundry? Yeah, let's go foundry next. Let's see what that nets me. So I can now make a foundry. Oh, we never did actually make the cement plant. Make two of them. Okay. We don't have enough. We are gaining plywood and brick, except for the fact that we don't actually have some have anybody working on these. Uh yeah. I'll split them up. We'll need more. Oh. Unlocked a new type of resources. Crafted from other materials. Manually crafted. Plus one, five, A. Oh, but we need cement. We never did actually make the cement plant. I still don't know what to do with furs. So is this just going to go automatically? I'm assuming as such. Let's see. Nah, I can I can live with a drain on food for a little while. Let's just get a bunch of lumber for a moment. Because yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything without cement. Probably. Probably. At least our money's looking good. A lot of things are looking good. Just a couple of limitations. Mostly solved by more people. Oops. How much more do I need? 1800 lumber. Okay, let's get us a little closer. This is one of the only games I think I've ever played that doesn't really increase your clicking power ever. Okay, so we're gaining a small amount of cement. What can I do with any of it? The answer is actually nothing. We're mostly just making plywood and bricks, and not in large quantities. Uh, theater. Yeah, let's go for the theater. Amphitheater. Need 200 stone. Gets me, uh... Oh. I guess we're going to need some spore nests. Because at this point, we're actually losing stone. I should fix that. We do actually have some bonuses, though. That'll make it work. Does this need 1,000 lumber? Never mind. We're going back to a spore nest and an amphitheater. Okay, so we need one more quarry worker. Two. Uh, yeah, we'll just get even more. We're going to have to worry about our food. Hopefully we get some efficiency bonuses at some point, though increasing morale is probably going to help a lot. We'll get another compost heap, because those run automatically. And then gather lumber. Oh, silly me. I should probably just go attack every once in a while. That usually gets me an amount of lumber. Or in this case, food and stone. I'll take it. There, another spore nest. Here we have one unemployed person. Okay, entertainer. There's only one, a 1% one morale boost plus an additional 20%. Ugh. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna need a lot of lumber to actually make it work. Well, oh, but we do have sledgehammer. So that improves our rock quarrying. And then spies, yes. Artisans, craftsmen produce an extra 3% for each foundry. Uh, buy and sell resources, which actually will be really good because we have so many furs that we're not using. So actually, I think let's go for the marketplace first. We do not have enough knowledge. Rough. It's fine. Uh, what else do we even do? I mean, I could get some more lumber yards. It does increase our efficiency. Uh, not even a bad amount. Because I've been kind of neglecting increasing the amount of lumber yards and rock quarries that I've got sitting around. And so they would give me bonuses. The main problem is we're just waiting for knowledge to tick up, and that's a bit of a doozy. Oh, I should solve my food problems with violence. Not exactly what I was going for, but whatever. I mean, do we want to try a raid? We won. Got a bunch of copper. Not really what I wanted. This is why we need the market. Ah, uh, that's my knowledge at 900. And I need 1800 for that. Ouch. University requires 3,000 stone. Like 2,000 lumber. No, I should go for the compost heaps. I'm going to solve my food problem before I do anything else. Second entertainer. Morale still sucks. Oh, it's winter. That's why. That increases our mining activities, but that's that's more copper. We don't need copper. Actually, speaking of copper. Uh, miner. We don't need those three. Okay, rain is coming, but whatever. Oof. Yeah, it seems like the raids are still maybe not the best. Hmm. I guess we can also get some more bankers. I don't think we need more at the moment. What else do we do? I guess actually we might as well ambush. Grab whatever. Hooligans have graffitied buildings around town. Well, that's rude. Uh, I mean, the knowledge is going up. We're pretty far off of getting another university because I keep spending it like a fool. I guess let's just give ourselves a bunch of lumber for the time being. I think we'll just get to the knowledge before we get to the market, but this way I'll be able to sell the furs and the copper that I don't need and use that to buy things that I do need. At the very least, we won't have to worry about being capped out on resources, and we could go all in on banks if we were so inclined, which is not the worst idea. Let's see. Oh, ran out of lumber. Damn. It's pricey. Yeah, we can get some more people. Probably, oh, amphitheaters are cheap. Let's probably get a couple more of those. Okay. Oh, but we don't have enough people. Well, that's fair. Uh, military. Ambush. Where are we back up to? 12. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick to ambushes for the time being. I don't think we're ready for large-scale military action. Uh, research. Marketplace. Okay. Market. Marketplace? Resources. Market. Let's sell.
Oh, so this is barely getting us any money. That's unfortunate. Sort of. Do the same thing with furs. Just sell it down. And... Buy a bunch of stone. Buy a bunch of lumber. Who needs money anyway? Okay, and that... I wonder if you can bottom the market out. Maybe. Okay, so let's get another entertainer. We need morale. And we need bankers. What we really need is more universities. So, I guess let's get ourselves some stone while we wait for the money to roll in. Six thousand. Damn. Would spend the lumber. Yeah. I should do other things, but eh. What are we doing? Oh, wait, no. We kind of need the stone. We need... Mm, we need all sorts of things. Professors, bankers, lumberjacks. Yeah. Next out. Let's just go fight. And that gets me a couple hundred. Always. I guess the other thing we can do is just hot sell all of our fur and copper. There, that solves the problem. University just needs lumber. I was kind of hoping the harvest one lumber from the land, uh, I could actually upgrade my own interactions here. Alas, doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, back to resources. Buy lumber. Unfortunately, kind of pricey. It's going to take me a while. Oh, but you know what I can do? I can sell food. I don't really need to. It's not that good. What do we need for research spies? 1250, actually. That's not too bad. Iron ore. Orders in advance, so that's how we queue things up. Yeah, let's go for spies next. Uh, it doesn't look like it's anything here. Food's good for the moment. Military. Ah, spies. Oh, and they just cost money. That's expensive. I can have one person. Uh, let's go for entertainment. And it would probably help if I actually got my um, miners back now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> I guess we'll lose a couple of these just to get two miners so we have some amount of copper. We seem to get plenty of copper just by going on raids. Oh, but that's a raid as opposed to what I'm currently doing. Hmm... What else can I do? Bankers. I guess actually what I need to do is just get more um, more people capacity. Despite the fact that this is horrid for my morale. Uh, let's see. Professor Banker. You know what? I'm actually going to invest in bankers. The more I have, hopefully, the more resources we can just buy. Lumber seems cheap enough. So we can straight up just go all in on money. Kind of. I do wish that there was like a talent tree or something I could be invest investing into. Little bonuses. Uh, and perks and stuff that could get me... Uh, just a little bit here and there. It would go kind of far. Uh, do we want to get the pickaxe? Just give us a little bit? It's cheap. Sure. And then we might want to grab the Dewey Decimal System. Just get a number of these out of the way so we don't need to worry about them. Speaking of that. Yeah, just snagging some more lumber yards. Yeah, it makes sense. Because mm. otherwise we're just kind of here spinning our wheels just for a little bit. Everything is kind of expensive and a little slow. Oh. oh we can actually see like the weather and stuff up here. 
accelerated. Time remaining. So I can pause it. No. I can't see things that are at the top of my screen usually because that's where my um sure actually maybe we could just get some more barracks everything at the top of my screen is covered by my webcam at some point I should probably look into a better webcam setup but eh. okay what do we do buy lumber can't really afford too much uh, let's see we're capped out on entertainers oh but we can get a professor What else do we have? Those are advanced things. This gives us knowledge capacity. I mean, the main thing is, I think I just need to chill. Next spy cost is very expensive. Damn. Let's get another bank. Because I want to see their... Oh. We can see our advantage against them. If I go to a raid, we can even see that I'm disadvantaged. And now they're starting to raid me. Oh boy. That's something we're going to have to worry about. Let's see, what do we need for a compost heap? Money. Just money. Alright. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, I don't have enough money for another one of those. I have a 9% advantage, but I think we might want to wait until we have all 16 soldiers. I mean, honestly, I should probably just do ambushes. Because if I lose nothing, then we don't have to worry as much. And we can get back into the fray much faster. I guess we might as well buy spies for all of those. Let's see. Anything else? I don't know what to use plywood and bricks on. Sell that down. What about food? No, food barely sells for anything. I don't actually have that much copper, so I shouldn't do too much. One problem is I'd like to go on harder raids just to get better stuff. Ooh, I mean, I think it's fine. Artisans, expensive. I think what we want is actually to save up for iron mining. Pricey as it is. Because that will probably get us the next level of tools. And then trade routes, which is going to require the Dewey Decimal. I guess the other thing I... Yeah, I should probably just get some more barracks. Because again, if we can get up to the point where I'm raiding them consistently, that'll be the big up. Because we can fill, uh, like, all of our copper on a raid. Which seems genuinely worthwhile. Okay. Oh, the one problem is, we were going to maybe save for spies. Oh, but that just tells me their economic strength. That's not that amazing. Okay, so now I get a bit more. <laughs> That's a bunch, and we can sell at least some amount of food. Burn that down. That's not bad. Fell all the fur. And that's not... That doesn't take too long either. Yeah, do we, do we save up for that? I think we do. Still curious about the enemy soldier was infected. I feel like that there's a little bit more that should go into that. I 
Okay, so the Sultanate is very strong. I think I'm mostly just gonna focus on beating the Commonwealth as much as I can. Because I am scum or something. Okay. I mean, they already hate me, so let's just own it. Uh, let's see, composting requires a lot of lumber and stone. A sixteen hundred. Let's see. Oh, and you know what we've got? We've got enough for iron mining. Now we can, if we had enough iron. Oh, our miners are just getting us iron. Perfect. Oh, it's going to require so much knowledge, though. Maybe we should actually get the Dewey Decimal System. Okay, we'll wait for those wounds to go away. Oh, we're stealing, like, the good stuff here. We're actually stealing iron and large quantities of lumber and stone. Not as much money. But my assumption is I've maybe bankrupted them pretty hard. Hey, ain't my problem they ain't mushrooms. That's like actually kind of terrible now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. Look, I'm playing this like some kind of extinction simulator. This maybe isn't a zero-sum game, but that's certainly where I'm at. Oh, I bet the more wounded my soldiers are. Yeah. And actually, we're losing an amount uh, to morale, too. This is winter. Mm, so we might actually want to save up. Get some more amphitheaters. I'll get another one. Let's see, do we have too many people working anything? No, of course not. And the main problem is we need better housing, but everything's so expensive that we're kind of out of luck there. Okay. Economic strength, recession. I get the distinct feeling that's my fault. Probably. Hey, we can sell some cement. Not too much of it. I don't want to send this, uh, sell all of it. But it does seem like it's worth it. And yeah, I can I can just keep raiding. Oh, and we can sell all of our furs. I want to get the trade routes going. But maybe we go for that next. No, trade routes are expensive. Ooh, spore colony. That's expensive. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get the Dewey Decimal, just because. Library, max knowledge, and knowledge production. And it's actually cheap, because it requires plywood and brick. We'll just build a library whenever I possibly can. Oh, and resource-wise, we can buy some stuff. Murray is very expensive. Stone less so. Okay, let's stock up on stone for the time being. Because I, I can always just mash this mine or get more. And like the other thing we could do is just get a couple of these for the quarry efficiency, but even then, ah. Uh, uh, everything is expensive. Honestly, being a um, kind of evil, one point three million dollars to figure out how much unrest is going on on that. Ouch. That's a bit rough. We can get another lodge, get another entertainer, get my morale up, because I I think the unsung thing that I can do here is actually get my morale above 100%. Because it just gets me an extra 5% resources. And 
Maybe. I don't actually know how good that is. Yeah, I need so much lumber. Well, at this point, we're kind of hitting, hitting the upper limit. This is the kind of game that should be played actually idle as opposed to actively. I'm more of an active, um, active incremental player, generally. Uh, but this is quite compelling, building a civilization. I, I still truly wish there was a little bit more of kind of that low level like genetic tweaking that went on like I like the civilization builder but the fact that we started as a basic cell was kind of meaningless except for the decision between whether or not we were an animal a uh, an animal a plant or a fungus and so like there's there's kind of that level of like yeah we're fungus people but it doesn't mean anything and that's kind of the hard part We're getting to the point where, yeah, they are actually killing my soldiers on on the regular. Sucks, because that means I effectively need to... Get more. Let's see. That just gives me more miners. Um, and we can sell the furs, but they're... Actually, the price went back up. Lumber, though, that's the... That's the real one. Where our food? Food is kind of capped out. Weird. Well, do we buy lumber like a goof now? Actually. Uh, yeah, what do we buy? Bank? Just getting more banks isn't the worst idea. Maybe some foundries? I don't know. I think the main issue is we just need more knowledge. So that I can get the better axes. Yeah, probably better axes. What else do we have? Oh, libraries have a minor effect on professor effectiveness. Playwrights increase the quality of entertainment. Okay, maybe we grab these two. Unfortunately, I think those are new jobs. They're new jobs. Are they? Or maybe not. Well, he didn't die that time. Wait, research completed. Uh, oh, here we are. Playwright will increase the quality of entertainment, increasing the effectiveness of entertainers. So that's just a passive bonus to both of them. Same thing for thesis papers. Libraries have a minor effect. Library, it doesn't, it doesn't say, but I'm going to assume. All right. Well, are we out of things to do? I think I'm out of music. Yeah, my, my playlist has run out. I gave myself exactly an hour, so I think this is a good time to stop. So Evolve is available uh, just via the link in the description below. You don't have to pay for it. This is purely just a kind of fun game. Uh I've always, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of fascinated with these, these incremental games, the, the Civ builders, the really like just watch number go up and maybe there's a little bit of kind of background role playing that goes into it. Uh, there's nothing quite like it and I, I'm kind of obsessed with them. Uh, I think I just wish there were uh, a little bit deeper and broader in terms of like small passive bonuses and cool things you can pick up. Because... I don't know. I feel like I could do uh I could do something really interesting if I ever had the time to actually invest into this. Unfortunately, there's like a gazillion games knocking at my door saying, uh, you know, hey, cover our game. Or well, developers saying cover our game. And so whenever I'm like, oh, I've got some free time, it disappears like instantly. Uh first world problem I know, but it is a serious issue. So I guess with all that said, yeah, if you want to play this yourself, just check out the link in the description below. And otherwise, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.